Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Everything Online. I am your instructor Sharvari Joshi and you are welcome in my math segment. So today we are going to learn something very interesting which is the part 2 of what we learned before. Cube roots of perfect cubes. So in previous lecture we learned why and how to underline the last digits of every answer. So today's lecture we will actually see how to do the exact cube rooting. So let's see how to do it. Cube root of perfect cubes part 2. In material of the number of digits in a cube, you have to always put a slash before the last three numbers of any cube. In the next slide, we will see how the table is formed after putting a slash after the three numbers. A list of cubes of numbers. Now for example let's take a big number let's find the cube root of 287496 so let's see step by step how we have found the cube root of this huge number we shall represent this number as 287/496 while solving the cube root we should always divide it in two parts first we have to solve the right hand part and second we have to solve the left hand part you can also solve the left hand part first and then go for the right hand part but it is advisable to solve right to left this big number ends with a 6 and we know that when a cube root ends with a 6 the answer of the cube also ends with a 6 we learned the table before right Now let's move on to the left hand part. Now to find the left hand part of the answer, we know that the on the left hand part of the answer before the slash the numbers are 287. Now we need to find two perfect cubes in which the 287 lies in between. So the two perfect cubes in which 287 lies in between is 216 that is a cube of 6 and 343 that is a cube of 7. So as far now our answer was a dash and 6 on the right hand side but after doing the part on the left hand side we have got two answers 216 and 343 the roots of 216 and 343 are 6 and 7 so we have to always take the smaller number so the smaller number between 6 and 7 is always going to be 6 so we fill the dash with a 6 so we get a complete answer as 66 6, that is 66 so we know that the cube of this huge number or we can say the cube root of this huge number is 66 and 66 cube is this number so did you find this video helpful solve this kind of sums and share this video with all your friends do comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel and also turn on the bell icon bye bye